low parry when I need to, you know, or you'll get too, too, you know, obvious with it. But overall, I think both players just played that so well. So at the end of the day, it's like either, either or, like they both played such a great, great set attacking right there. And you see yeah. your JDCR going to go up against Moil now. The person that sent him to losers because of the their set and pools. So, you know, and also Saint said that he that he sent, you know, Moil to JDCR's bracket or pool just because he knew he couldn't beat him. So, it's a tough one for mm -hmm. JD. For him to get his, his match with Nii in the grand finals, which is what he wanted, right? That's the reason why he sent Nii mm -hmm. over to Saint's pool. Because he said, I want to beat Nii in grand finals. So, for him to do that, he's got to have to go up against a guy that put him in the losers bracket in the first place. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see what kind of uh, strategy that he'll he'll use. Maybe um, maybe he'll do a character switch, um, try to surprise uh, Moyle with something. But uh, or it could just be um, one of those things where JDCR is just like, no, I just I just need my run back, and you know, I I, I got this. I just need my run back, and um, yeah. and he'll just stick with his game plan. Uh, we'll have to see. But yeah, Moyle is still like, in my opinion, I think Moyle can still win. This whole thing as well so it's for sure it's really I hard think, to tell I, right now and i i think that if you sleep on if you sleep on him and you're already putting jdcr and knee in the grand finals bracket you might be uh you know not happy at the end of the day if if mola comes through and and does what he what he can do and what he's capable of doing so uh there's a, just a ton of a uh, ton of potentials here but we gotta go through one match first right jdcr versus mola and i think jd played did he only play dragon off in that set I don't even, I, yeah, it feels I, like I'm such a yeah, I don't remember ago. exactly. Yeah. Well, we're gonna his, his get into the match King now. Good. His armor king looks yeah, good. His dragon off looks two, good yeah. finally. Yeah, he doesn't really look bad, per se. But yeah. this is uh, this is a best of three or a best of five. I'm sorry. Uh, so this is actually going to be uh, more matches um, than the than when they played earlier. So yeah, this is the losers final right now and. Uh, what I'll, I would be kind of looking for is remember when Moyle played Need? It was very like it was a very compact game. They were just kind of going back and forth, mm -hmm. tit for tat, uh, very patient but active. Uh, I'm wondering if this will be similar or we'll get a slugfest or something that we're not predicting. I honestly, right off the bat, you got a smaller stage, so you might see a more aggressive JD, but. That also could have been the reason why he lost the first set, so... Mm. Ooh, nice. Oh, side switch and damage. Rolling out of there. JD so just, just rolls out of there, and all of a sudden he's already safe. Now look at that, he's actually put Moyles back in the wall too, so it's a bad spot. Oh, but he... Oh, man. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Terrible spot there, JD so just had to stay blocking. Yeah, you don't want to be in geese, geese pressure at the wall like that. Even though JDCR was able to block like everything that one one round, <laughs> still not a good position. Oh, here we go. It's gonna break the wall too. Yeah. Uh, oh, no, not quite. Just uh, it was a weird angle on the wall. I don't think he had yeah. enough uh, room to get that combo. That combo would normally work if he was close. Didn't quite close it out. Oh, yeah, just, yeah, why not? Yeah, spam not that just mid. Keep going for it. Yeah. Fight. Pretty safe option, but now Moyle already up to JDCR. Uh, we seen earlier like him lose three rounds straight and then adjust later. I'm wondering if mm -hmm. this is something that we're seeing now, but this is the data round. Jeez. Oh, now JD just really there, just, but... You see JD just throwing a lot of jabs right now. Just kind of I think he's just using using that to kind of like Ooh. stifle the offense and just reset the entire situation to a jab. Oh nice counter. Oh yeah, I think he tried that counter earlier. Um mm. to no avail, but he got it this time and closed out the round. Oh, oh nice too. JD started noticing that that board, wasn't dude. maximal cancel. Great awareness from JDCR. Ooh. Wow, what look at this side step. Gonna be, what? Yeah, that's gonna be that guaranteed. Was a 180. Yep. Oh, 
nice. And just uh, a mid will take it high tied up in rounds when it first looked like Moyle was running away with it. Yeah, Moyle does have two meters two. here, and the stage is still yeah. very, very small, which is good for both characters, honestly. He hasn't been really using running, too. Oh. Ooh, lights out. JDCR. Damn, you saw him just wait there. He's, he yeah, just walked up to his yeah. corpse and just, and just crouched. <laughs> Just small pokes here from both players. And this is so patient right now from JDCR. He's just. Yeah, just playing his game. Getting pressure right wow. now. What a stop! That was crazy! What a yeah. call out! Oh my god! One more. Oh! Nice. Wow! Patient! JDCR. That was so such patient. a. That was... And that's the thing, yo, JDCR loves his jabs, right? But he chose it at the right time, too. Mole used it as an instant air fireball, which if, like, let's say JDCR didn't do anything, he was just blocking, that has crazy amounts plus because he lands immediately after the after the block. So he's like, he's already going to be on you. But if you jab him right off the bat, you get a full combo like JDCR did, which is insane because, you know, he, wouldn't, he didn't do it on reaction. He just did it off the anticipation, off just kind of like, I need to jab here to reset the situation or to see if you maybe jumped or something, which he did. So, I mean, that was a great comeback. Yeah, I mean, CR. yeah, that's the thing. Like you're you're talking about, like uh, you know, moves like that. Uh, sometimes the best option is to uh, stuff it or uh, prevention, right? You want to prevent. Like if there's like a cheap move and like you know they're getting all these plus frames and getting to do whatever they want on you, um, it, it might be time to find ways to prevent these things from happening. Uh, but yeah, this just generally seeing JDSR so patient there and he was down two rounds you know and, and and it's 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 one of those things you just saw how he just carefully played the each round uh one at a time and um yeah, yeah and was able to uh, take it at the end uh yeah just great stuff from jdcr i mean we saw in the first set too right where jdcr was like getting harassed right and then like it was to the point where he blocked like 20 hits in a row right because he was just getting harassed like trying <laughs> not to die and just blocking right and that was that showed to me like he's willing to just be patient and just you know really not swing into geese because he's you know he knows that a counter hit down jab from geese can spell trouble so you know he's being oh, very very patient and trying not to get man. clipped here but even then he even his patience is still making this set real close <laughs> All right, so we're now in the second game. This is best of five, so we got uh, a few more games to go. And JDCR has ducked that down forward 1-1 one, one multiple times now, so... Oh, and a nice block wow. into the punish wall splat. Not gonna get the grounder hit, though, so... Well, barely living. Yeah. Oh. Close, but... Ooh. Ooh. Fireball. Rapukin. One more hit, but he's not going to give it away. He saw JD didn't want to do anything risky, right? He just went for a jab, but. but he's so close. He could die. Yeah, he's I know. Now, being so patient. Yeah. Oh, oh my. He's just getting clipped. He wow. keeps getting. He's been getting yes. hit by that forward one out of these strings, man. Ooh. Yeah, still Moyle is still being patient, even though he got that momentum there. Nice punish. I think he's willing to be patient because he knows, at least for him, one hit will probably lead to more damage from his his output than it will for JDCR. Mm -hmm. Ooh, blocks that down too. Nice, he's gonna send a message, but ooh! A get up three! Counter hit, it's turning the tides right now. About evening it up, almost. And, uh, get off me, bro! Get oh, just, I want to get out of this situation. Says Moyo, and wow. he just burns it. He burnt the meter wow. to ensure the kill. Will it be worth yeah. it? I don't know. We'll find out. Yeah. I mean, I, I, that's kind of like a sign of respect, right? <laughs> almost like against JD Sarah, it's like, no, you're so dangerous. I have to kill you now. To be honest, I didn't even know that combo worked, so I'm like, <laughs> that's, to me, that was yeah, short. That was also pretty crazy. <laughs> that was yeah. sick. Ooh, down two counter hit. And remember, JDCR did come back from a two round deficit in the last game. Can he do it again? Oh, he didn't quite get his down forward. 
two. Oh, and a running, running two counter hit. He hasn't been using running two that much, and, but when he yeah, did, just there, he, yeah, he got the best thing possible from it. He's definitely he's definitely not using running two as much as he would have in the past. You know, obviously the nerfs might have hurt him a little bit, but I think also it's just that he's doesn't doesn't want to use the move in this in this set. It seems like it seems to be yeah. very using uh, using it very sparingly. What a oh, oh, that was what a beautiful that was fundamentals right there. Yeah, you know one nice things about uh, Dragon Ball Wall Setting Two is that it does have a little forward momentum, so you can use it as a decent whip punish like that. Right now, JDCR is still with the round deficit, but no, that's never affected him. Oof. Two. My bowl has got one meter now. Nice parry again. Oh. Maybe that's the reason why JD's getting, getting clipped by that so much, is that he's trying to counter yeah. it, but... It did pay off there at that moment, but Gates here at the wall. This is gonna do good damage. He's gonna damage. live, but with nothing left. Time is that a factor? Can he do anything here? Oh, it looks so hard. Oh, no time, no time. And yeah, and Moyle was just happy to just be patient there, wait, and say that you gotta come to me. I got the life lead. And you're the one who has to do work, and uh, you know I'm not gonna give it away. And basically, JDC, I think it found, found out a little bit too late. Just like, oh shoot, okay, uh, down two, let's start something. He got a nice counter hit there, but just not enough, right? When the yeah. time is ticking, uh, you just you, yeah, you you can't you can't do the thing that you want. I mean, th that down two hitting counter hit too. If I was JD, I would have been. I was aggressive as all hell. Like if I heard that counter hit down <laughs> two, I'm like, I gotta mash something because I don't know what's gonna <laughs> happen here, but. That's that's great yeah, defense from Moyle yeah. and patience too. The patience to just be able to like, all right, yeah, you got it. You you tr you have to win. I got the lead. Let me just chill, right? That's like that's hard to do sometimes because a lot more often than not, you're really worried about like I'm gonna get mixed up. I'm gonna eat all these lows and all this other stuff, and the walls behind me, I can't move, so I gotta press buttons to get this guy off of me, right? But he was just more like I'm gonna block and let my reactions do the talk. Yeah, exactly. I mean, when you're in that moment where like, okay, your opponent has rage, and you're literally you know, you have a huge life lead, but it's just one launch away from losing it. Then, yeah, just just climbing up like that. You just gotta have the the patience to do that, and uh, he had it there. And this is why I think he's uh, he's a contender for the best players. I meet you, Jojo. Jo jo. So, JDCR keeping it real small here, real compact, which is also very scary because Geese is such a strong character. But the one thing I've noticed about JDCR, especially on this stage, is that his movement into getting out of these real like tight spots it feels like it's just so easy it's <laughs> effortless it seems like it's just like oh my back's to the wall let me yeah. just do one side step and now your back's to the wall <laughs> round one fight all right tied up one one that's the five lose final jab 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 here yep <laughs> Wonder if this will face knee in the grand finals. Wow, that's a whiff punish oh, if man. I've ever seen one. That is so nice. JDCR is so good at using that crouch chest one as a whiff punish. Oh, and we've seen uh, Moyle kind of resort to that a lot. The, uh, the, the yeah, the JD's move. been very patient. He hasn't, he hasn't pushed his, uh, you know, he hasn't been aggressive in that situation. He's blocked every time, so. Mm -hmm. Because you have a good read on it, but right now, look at these. JD just stepping left, just circling geese right now. Oh. Wow, he still got the duck, but didn't try to punish. We got the follow up still from that trade. Oh, and still able to do so much damage from that trade. Yeah. Maximizes damage there very well. Oh, oh. Uh, Peter. Wow, 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 wow. Risky. Oh, oh what is what is this? They're sending him. Oh, I guess they didn't, go the didn't even press the rest of it. <laughs> I like that. Ah, great. That's like a, like a weird microwave styling. <laughs> yeah, I like it.
<laughs> Let me show you this real, the, the quickest rage yeah. art in the, in the entire game. <laughs> I, I'm entertained. <laughs> oh, there's nothing there after that. He just both sit still. Yeah, I think the patience here for both players, I think they're just really just waiting for one player to make a mistake. A costly mm -hmm. mistake here, but they're both playing so safe, they don't want to make the mistakes. Oh, big whiff there. Nothing. I don't think JD Star expected that. Oh, double mid? Oh, nice. Stayed on the ground after that. Oh, we're trying to step there, but Moyle still isn't hitting him. Oh, and a not clutch block on that. Staying on the ground. JDCR. Looking for something. Oh, the time and again. How many? Yeah, I mean. Yeah, but... How many timeouts are we going to see from Moyle? Nice. Oh, too. Moyle's, his defense has been paying off too, but it's also just his patience, right? Putting JDCR in a situation where he has to make that comeback and not allowing it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but also, the one thing I like about Moyle right now, the way he's playing, he is being, like, cautiously aggressive. It's weird, it's yeah. a weird way to say it, but, like, he's dashing up but yeah. not pressing buttons. Like, he's being very safe, yeah, like, like, very aggressive. Yeah, active but slow play. Yeah. Okay. And it's tied up in rounds and in games. This is going to be a pivotal round. Moyle going in. Ooh, and a big counter hit. Going to take him to the wall. Going to get some good damage. He's got bar. Things are looking good for Moyle. Yeah, two meters and half. Yeah, half life lead right now, he is sitting pretty, but ooh, that's ooh. a good start. JDC are gonna have the wall yeah. pressure and this big damage. Big Oki opportunity here. Get off me. Still, still though, Mo with today. a healthy lead. JDC are in range, he can end it very quickly. Well, it's not that healthy anymore. Uh, it's so close right now. Oh, look at them both. No one wanting to commit. Oh, what? oh and he gets it with the cancel. Boil. Oh. I mean, how did he get hit? How did he yeah, get hit? Yeah, he blocked the first. Hit of that. Yeah, he oh, blocked the man. first. Yeah, it must have been. Yeah, maybe like an input. Something. Uh, something could input have been, there. Could have been moving. Could have tried to counter or something. It's just. You know, uh, yeah. it's one of those situations where even if even if he had blocked it, right, it would have probably just been a max mode mix up. And mm -hmm. oh, but the fact that he got hit there is unfortunate, right? So now, well, with the two one lead here, looking good. But these games are so close. Okay, this is gonna go final game, final round, isn't it? <laughs> I have a good feeling about that. This is uh, yeah, this is very closely matched, and uh, I'm yeah, I'm super. Like, I just want to get into the game now. This is uh. uh I'm hitting the, the I don't, start like, button right now. <laughs> I don't know if, I, if I'm JD. I might take a. I, I might need a, like just a, a little, a little longer of a break because it's like, it's, it's it's like they're playing so fast and so slow at the same time. It's like I'm watching I'm watching like the fastest race in slow motion. It's like it's crazy. I don't like they're thinking too fast, but it's like it's moving so slow. Yeah, definitely. I think this has kind of been a theme with these. Um, I think with Nii, JDCR, and Moyle, it's like you have this kind of like. Um, they're very active, but they're doing micro decisions. They're not doing, they're doing a lot of like safe decisions and they're going back and forth a lot. So I think this is kind of what we're seeing where it's like, they're not playing fast, but they're they're doing stuff all the time, continually. I mean, the one thing I love, I'm loving about uh, Mole's play style is that he's being aggressive with just his movement, right? Like he's utilizing just, you know, dashing forward and kind of staying in JD's face and, you know, being a threat there. But it's also, it feels like he's also using his, like, uh, just his, Come his on. meter. He uses it in such Round one. efficient ways, it feels like. Fight. I don't know what it is, but it's like, it feels like his meter usage gets a lot of, even if it's not damage, he's getting, you know, mix-ups and getting JDCR off of him. <laughs> he's good at finance. That's probably what it is. Yeah. All right. All right. Still, uh, yeah, the, the, the pacing of the play is still... Same, okay, here we go. We got sidestep uh, low parry this time. And JDCR. Ooh, sure, go ahead. Doesn't come Big combos. Oh. I can feel that one. That's a down four two into death. Ooh. Round two. Fight. <laughs> 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 
Oh, did you see both of them just moving? Whoa, what is like, this? Is he like, holding like back? A... Like... Pixel movement. <laughs> you didn't get punished. Look at this. He's like, <laughs> yeah, this... It's tiny, okay. tiny yeah. move movement. And JDCR just, he's using forward walk and backward walk. That's so interesting. Right, like right there, yeah. Yeah, that is, you know what? It's, it's not terrible because if you hold it back like that, you can sometimes just kind of outrange yourself from certain things that would have normally hit you. Oh, yeah. That's a big punish. moment for Moyo. Yeah. And with 10, 9 two. seconds, this is gonna be so hard. <laughs> Ooh, man. Three. That was just pressure. Down forward Four. one jab, just keeping the pressure up. Uh, running two and down twos, looking like season one dragon off. It's a good start from him, though. Look at this. He has a big life lead here. And just kept Bolo well, just out of range, too. Oh, nice. Down twos are coming yeah, out, just... though. Yep. JDCR with a round lead here. He needs to win this to tie it up 2 2 so they can go to a final game and hopefully final round. Meter there. I'm a little with no meter here, so he's gonna have to make this comeback. I'm hoping to build some meter for a potential final round. JDCR just content with blocking, not pressing buttons. It's totally okay with it. Oh, Ooh. in the back! Wow, but... And then, uh, yeah. I feel... Ooh, nice low parry, JD. Getting the good read. I feel like Molo Mo got lucky there that the... It was back turn. Or it wasn't back turn. Oh, classic. And uh, we're running out of time here. Is JDCR gonna be able to win this time game? <gasps> oh! 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 oh. Not enough time. Oh, oh not enough oh, time. Not oh, enough time. JDCR. And in this timeout situation, JDCR is the one that uh, came out winning. Crazy. Oh my wow, god. Wow, this is tied up too. <laughs> you said you you called final final round. I mean, it's very possible. Yeah, but is... it, it's like I mean, you could just you, you could feel it, right? Neither of these guys want to yeah. win easy. <laughs> That's just the way yeah. it is. Neither <laughs> of these guys want to win easy. It's, this is I mean, realistically, it's it's because their opponent are, is very good. Neither of them want to lose. That's the True. problem here. Yeah, so there's, a there's definitely a, yeah, this set. is a back and forth, back and forth set, uh, entirely. And I mean, yeah, I, I think they're both playing really, really well. Um, and I think at, at at a certain moment, like it gets to the part where, um, like JDCR, he's using these like he's not constantly dashing. Uh, you, you see him do these kind of micro steps, and I think that kind of breaks the rhythm of and the spacing a little bit, right? That's it's a different speed. And um, when you get used to people's uh, dashing movements. Uh, you know, you can, you can, you can get a read on that. But I, I feel like uh, I know walking has been buffed in Tekken Seven, walking forward and backwards. So um, I don't know, maybe he's, he's using that uh, there. But definitely, I noticed him doing that this uh, this tournament. Could just be he wants to just kind of even slow it down even more, where it's like, all right, my back dash <laughs> is. Yeah, it's like it's <laughs> it's causing too much space, and you know I don't like it. It's like maybe I'm playing too fast. I want to slow it down even more. Possibly. All right, Round this one. is a two-two right now. Uh, Final game. Moved on. Lo yeah. Loser it doesn't go crazy. home, but stays at home. Solid. <laughs> <laughs> Gets to watch the rest of the stream. Yeah, you can just see the variation in, in, in the movements and the approaches now in the final game. Things are coming out. The, the, the tricks from the bag. Come on, look at this duck movement. Uh, Moyo just dash duck, oh. dash duck. Oh my god. It's been just non-stop posts. So just good defense. Yeah, so much so many layers right launch. now. Yeah. <laughs> Look at the Oh, Ooh, see, he yeah, tried to he tried, tried to punch. Oh, he tried to parry there. So yeah, he's been getting clipped by some of these things. And what a Ooh. stab! Yeah. 
That's game. Oh, yeah, I think that's. Time I think up. Get... Yeah, JDCR just. That was checkmate. Round yeah, he gave up a. Well, I mean, he didn't really give up. He had no opportunity to win that round anymore. Yeah. And just, yeah, the. the... Yeah. It's the defense from both Perfect players, but right now, Boyle's looking yeah. real, real strong with his defense, but. Running three is going out to try to catch oh. the Tucky, but he gets hit by mid carry. Oh, wow. Oh. I was about to say, too, like, JD was, you know, like you said, JD hasn't been using running two. That round, he used like three of them, but one of them finally got countered. But nice. Oh. He started going to take a life, life lead here. here. Tries to jump Light over switch, low. Oh, down two. Bolo has one oh, meter. Down four. Oh, a little bit of help wow. up and a jab. Oh, this is Round as even three. as it can get. Yeah, the jab whiff punish the jab. It wasn't on purpose, obviously. JD just likes throwing out those jabs like that because it's safe -ish. Oh, and still this, this slow but active play from both players. Yeah, but Bolo's ability this, to, but it's slow. to duck this down to has been so good. And look at the wall carry. Wow, nice combo! Oh my god! And the that damage, the life lead. It's, oh, JD, reading the fact that he wasn't gonna spend the meter there. Yeah, that was, that was so smart. Oh, breaks the grab. <laughs> yeah. Still not in range though. Doesn't have the rage damage boost. <gasps> block there. Oh my god, and that's a danger of meter. Moyle, four. one round away from Fight. moving on to grand finals to face me, but the JDTR. Take this round and, and get the final final round. I mean, if, if you're if you're oh, in yeah. the in the chat, I'm sure you're rooting for JDCR. You just want a final round regardless. <laughs> oh, jump in there. Oh, he's back. He with the knee. Twos. This... Yes. Can he carry to the wall and maybe get other get more meter? Oh, oh he tried the same wall combo. This bad spot for JD. He's yeah, it's so hard for JD right now. He's gonna need a miracle. KO. Oh, and just a low will take it. Moyo advances to the grand final. And JDCR stays home. And doesn't ah, go to damn. grand finals. Oh, that was such a close set, dude. You can see, I, I mean, now I see why Saint put Moyo into JDCR's bracket. It's it's not because, mm -hmm. like, just because that was just a strong player. Like, you don't want to mess with that guy, man. He is doing. Yeah, more work right now. I'm just, you know, it's obvious that he's he's a geese man. It's like the the way he's playing. You know, he knows a lot about his character, but it's he's adapting so well against other players. How they're adapting to his play style, it's it's crazy. It's so good. He's, a, he's like, I don't know what else to say other than the fact that he's probably the most stylish geese player. I've never seen anyone combo into raging storm like he does. Oh yeah, like that. And uh, 